Welcome to part three of my geode epoxy tutorial. So now we're going to do the epoxy. I'm actually using the Artisan Fast Set, but it is on back order right now or pre-sale. Um, so you could just use the regular Artisan epoxy. It's gonna do the same thing. It just won't dry as fast. Um, so with the original geode, I mixed, I don't know how many colors. I mixed like all these different mica powders. I mixed in dyes. I mixed in pigment paste. So I wasn't even sure what I did. So I was really trying to kind of match the colors that I did. And I just threw a bunch in different cups. Which it turned out really pretty, but I'm kind of mad that I don't know what I used. I feel like whenever I make things, I should just write down what I used so then I know. Just mixing those all up really well. So now I'm going to pour them onto the geode, starting with the outside edge, just kind of pouring kind of evenly. I like when parts are like a little bit thicker, some are a little thinner, and it just kind of goes where it wants. But you just kind of pour it out and just kind of let it flow along the whole thing. So I don't know what, what I did with the colors, but I ended up not being happy with them, how they turned out. I think the colors just were too bright and didn't really go well enough together. So I ended up re-pouring it the next day, which I'll show you guys, but you can just kind of see how I'm doing this. But like this blue, I don't, like the blue and the green, I don't know what happened. <laughs> So I don't know what happened with that green. The mica powder looked like it would be really pretty and it ended up being really bright and just ugly. I don't know. So you'll see, I was trying to work with it. I really tried, I layered it up, but I just wasn't happy with it the next day. I just go in with a heat gun and just kind of move everything around kind of blend things together a little bit I don't like everything looking so perfect so I just kind of move everything around a little bit and blend it until I like it
I just sprayed some alcohol and it just gives it these like little kind of bubbly effects. Like it kind of moves everything around and makes it look a little more realistic. Again with the heat gun. I was really trying to get rid of that, some of that green and just kind of blend that like darker black, but it just wasn't going anywhere. See, now I'm drizzling the epoxy on those bigger rocks. I kind of want the epoxy to just kind of get in there and fall all in between the bigger ones, not so much on top of, but just kind of in them and surrounding them so that they do not move. Because with just the hot glue, you could just easily pick them right off and I am shipping this, so I definitely don't want any of those going anywhere or popping off anytime. So just kind of layering up and like getting the epoxy kind of surrounding it will definitely hold those all in there. So then the next morning, um, pouring it again. That's the great thing about epoxy is if you don't like how things turned out, you just re-pour. Just pour right on top and you know get what the result that you want i think epoxy is so cool in that way that you can just literally do it again um so i just i wanted the outside color to be a lot wider like a lot bigger and wider so that's what i did and then this really pretty green color and i basically just do the same thing i did the night before just i think the colors turned out a lot better next day I was using this Craftsmart gold metallic paint pen to draw some really pretty gold lines in it and I have a video all about paint pens because I have bought them all and I've tested them all so if you guys are interested in seeing the best paint pens to use go check out that video but here I'm just kind of drawing the line and I was so nervous doing this but the pen actually made it really easy And this one was running out, that's why I have to keep stopping and pressing it. And I was just going through and making some parts a little bit thicker and a little more jagged. 
just so it looked a little more natural and not such a perfect smooth line. hardest part about this is trying to make it look more random and natural and not like perfect squiggly you know nice round even lines um, that's like been the hardest part about doing like epoxy and trying to make it look realistic is you're trying to just go for more random jagged lines and your your hand naturally just wants to like make it smooth and even and that's not what we're going for so then just adding another line on the outside, which I was trying to stay close to the other line, but sometimes get further away, sometimes get a little closer, just like I was saying, like make it look natural and not so perfect. My pen actually ran out right here. So then I go to work on the middle, which using this Martha Stewart liquid gilding paint, this stuff is so pretty and they have another uh, brand at Michael's that I also got too, which is basically the same thing. So I think any of this liquid golding paint or li liquid golding, liquid gilding paint is going to be the same. It is just so beautiful. Putting the gold on the inside, I think was just like the cherry on top of this geode. It just made it look so much better. It just has that like a really beautiful pop in the middle and it just looks so nice around all the little crystals sticking out. So I just tried to go in between the crystals, kind of sometimes at the bottom of them, um, kind of spreading it out a little bit onto those smaller rocks here and there, like not making it a perfect, you know, shape or anything, just kind of randomly painting it in there. And I think it turned out really beautiful. Instead of getting a new pen, I decided to just finish in paint, which this paint is slightly more on the copper color side than the pen is, which you can't really see it in the video. In person, you can tell a tiny, tiny bit. So because there's that gold in the middle around the little crystals, I wanted just to add that color throughout in the lines. So I just decided to outline the outer line with it. But the pen actually is way easier than using a paintbrush. It was just a lot smoother, I guess, to draw the lines. So then I wanted to kind of break up that blue color. So I did another line in between the blue. back because I did epoxy dripped in between those there was some just little drips so we heated up just like this little scraper tool with a torch and just kind of popped those off um, you can sand you can do whatever whatever way you want this is just the way that my husband wanted to do it because he helped me with that and if you do do this make sure you do it in a well ventilated area and wear a mask because you're heating up the epoxy and it does get really fumy and smelly so just be careful of that but you can see it just kind of melts them off really easy and you can do like a piece of tape underneath and just peel it off so you don't have to get the drips off or even liquid latex works 
So then I repainted the back black since I just wanted it to be nice and clean and it, it got a little dirty throughout the process. So just repainting the entire back. I did the second layer a couple spots got a little bit overfilled and kind of dripped over so I wanted to touch those up with the spray paint and I didn't want to spray it so I just sprayed it in a little cup and touched it up but that's why you want to have it built up enough with the uh, concrete feather finish and then your rocks because if I were to do a too thick of a layer it would do this on the whole thing and then it would just be a big mess so just make sure if you're doing it this way that you definitely build up enough around the edges so that you don't have that problem. Mine was only a couple tiny spots, so it wasn't a big deal. thing was just to sign my name um, just make sure you sign your art piece if you're making a little art piece and I wanted to add a little heart I thought it'd be cute but I think the gold looks really nice on just the flat black and then your epoxy geode is done Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.